Hello Puffins, so the book I've got to read today is called Mrs Armitage, Queen of the Road. One morning, Mrs Armitage came downstairs and found a letter on the mat. She read it to her faithful dog, Breakspear. Dear Anastasia, because I am buying a new motorcycle, I shall not need my old car anymore. I would like you to have it as a present. It is in the street outside. Here are the keys, with love from your Uncle Cosmo. Mm, a car is a present. There was the car. It doesn't look very exciting, Breakspear, said Mrs Armitage, but we'll give it a try. They climbed into the car and off they went. They had not been going very long when they went over a big hole in the road. Bing bong dang boing. All the hubcaps fell off. Mrs Armitage got out to look at the damage. Hubcaps, she said. Who needs them? She took them off to the scrap heap and on they went. But as they were going around the corner by the vinegar works, scrunch, the mudguard was ruined. Mrs Armitage got out to look at the damage. Mudguards, she said. Who needs them? She took them off to the scrap heap and on they went. Oh, I see a bit of a pattern. They were backing out of the scrapyard when, scrang, the front bumper had caught on an old bedspread. Mrs Armitage got out to look at the damage. Bumpers, she said. Who needs them? She threw the bumpers onto the scrap heap and drove away. They were on their way past the supermarket when a lorry backed onto the street. Scrunch! right into the bonnet. Mrs Armitage got out to look at the damage. The bonnet, she said. Who needs it? She took it off to the scrap heap and on they went. There's going to be no car left. There she is. There was quite a traffic jam beside the new building site where a big crane was moving a heavy block of concrete. To and fro it went, to and fro up and down when suddenly ooh, uh oh crunch mrs armitage got out to look at the damage a roof she said who needs it she took it off to the scrap heap and on they went break spear said mrs armitage i think it's time for us to get out of this town they went down a side road into the country all about them were trees and the birds were singing. Breakspear, said Mrs Armitage, this is blissful. But the road got bumpier and bumpier. Bading, bedong, bedang, bedoing, clunk. All the doors fell off and the boot as well. Mrs Armitage got out to look at the damage. All oh, this stuff, Breakspear, uh, she said, who needs it? Let's throw it all on the scrap heap and we'll be on our way. But at that moment there was a roar. It was Uncle Cosmo on his new bike. His friends were there too, Gizzy and Lulu, Ferdinando and Smudge. They were out for a day's drive. They all gathered round to look at Mrs Armitage's machine. Wow, said Gizzy, wherever did you get that? It's fantastic. We're off to the Crazy Duck Cafe for a game of billiards and a can of banana fizz, said Uncle Cosmo. You must come too. But first, have this leather jacket, said Smudge. I've grown too big to wear it. And you must each have a collar, said Lulu. I don't need all three. And have one of our bendy masts, says Gizzy. said Gizzy. We don't need both of them. And let me give you a motor horn, said Ferdinando. I don't need all five of them. And it's always good to have a motor horn. Off they roared to the Crazy Duck Cafe. And out in front with her faithful dog, Breakspear, was Mrs Armitage, queen of the road. And there they are in the cafe. And that is the end of the book. And that book was for Isabella. So I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.